Hello everyone. Today we are going to build this parallax setup in next chairs using Tailwind Gears. Let's get started. I am already in my next app, let us first run the local server. Yeah, it's working fine. Now get back. The first thing we have to do is, go to page.js. Let us clean all this default thing. Also go to global.cs Take out all these things Instead give Margin of 0 Padding of 0 Box sizing of border box And give it a text color of white Also Inside the body, overflow scroll behavior to none. Now the next thing is, now we shall create a component. So inside the root folder, create a folder for components. Inside the components, we shall create a component called parallax. Now we shall import this in the page.jx Import it in here Yeah Now We shall give a background color of Or JV Yeah, it's working fine. Now we shall go inside the parallax component. Now we shall start working in here. Let us start with HTML and CSS. Now inside this div, we are going to have two nested divs. So now let us do the stylings. For the first div, give it a styling of class name is equal to fixed top of 0 left of 0 width of 100% and height of 100 view height for the second view give it the styling of absolute top of 0 left of 0 width of 2800 pixels and give it a height of 100% for the third view give it a styling of absolute top of 15% height of 70% and width of 100% property of flex and give it to justify around So inside this third div Give another div And style it as Relative Width of 400 pixels Height of 100% Give it an overflow hidden Background of white 
and inside this div we are going to have another div and it's going to have styling of absolute left of negative 100 pixels width of 600 pixels height of 100 percent background cover and background of center now this inner div which is going to have a custom class of image now the important part is take out this div copy it and paste it five times below it Now we are done with HTML and CSS. Now we'll start working on JavaScript. As you can see, we got nice little blocks over here. Before getting into JavaScript, we shall import few things. So import use effect and use her from React. So as we use use effect, we should mention use client. Mention use client. Yeah. Now inside this parallax function, we shall first define few variables. So mention let slider is equal to use ref of initializes null now the slider is going to reference the second div so reference it as ref is equal to slider after this define let slider width image width Initialize that current is equal to zero. Then let target is equal to zero. Mention let is equal to point zero six. And then initialize an array called images. We have defined all the variables needed. Now, mention a use effect. So, inside the use effect, let majors is equal to. Spread the operator of document dot query selector all of image. So after this, we are going to give a background image. So images dot for each and give it a styling of image dot style dot background image is equal to Give it a new URL.
Now what it does is it gives background image to all the div which contains the class name ing. Now if we check, we got this image as well. Yeah. We have to make a parallax effect. So after this use effect, create a function called lerp. inside this function so this function is going to get the uh, three parameters start end and time return start times 1 minus t plus n times t so this lerp is going to be a utility function so after this create another function called set transform this also going to be our utility function inside it This is going to get two parameters element and transform. So inside this function, you are going to give a styling so element.style.transform is equal to transform. Now we are done with our two utility functions. Now create a main function so it's called init so inside this function we shall define few important things update slider width is equal to slider dot current dot get bounding client width also mention image width to be slider width divided by images dot length after this mention document dot body dot style mention height is equal to slider width minus window dot inner width minus of window dot inner height now we are done with init function we create another function called animate images initialize let ratio is equal to current divided by image width let intersection ratio now for every images We are going to update the intersection value so intersection ratio ratio minus id times 
0.7 after this set transform to image when in here mention translate x intersection value times 70 and this is going to be pixels now we shall perform on call animation create a function called animate mention current pass parse float lerp of current target and give it an ease so remember we mentioned ease as 0.06 and we have to round it up to two decimals next give it a target window dot scroll one then set transform slider dot current comma translate x of negative current pixels after this call animate images function in here below it give it a request animation frame of animate so this is going to be a recursive function now we, should, now we shall call the functions so first call the init function then call the animate function so this is it now we shall check yeah as you can see we got this parallax effect so this is it for the video thank you for watching and see you in the next one